Amen. It's when it hurts you to give, mm -hmm. then that's when it becomes a sacrifice. And unless we are forced and pushed, sometimes we won't volunteer to make a sacrifice. Because a sacrifice is not easy because it requires us to give up something that we'd rather have for ourselves. Even in your marriage and your relationships and with your children, uh, you can you don't have to make some sacrifices. If you want that marriage to work, it's going to require and demand that you make some sacrifices. And now that you are married, it's no longer me, but it is ours. It's not my house, it's our house. It's not my car, it's our car. It's not your money, it's our money. So you give up the me for we. You give up the I for us. I'm trying to help somebody this morning because somebody think, well, that's yours and it's mine. No, 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 the Bible says the two shall be one, amen? So what belongs to me now belongs to my wife. What belongs to you belongs to your spouse. So it requires a sacrifice. And even with your children, you may have to sacrifice now so that they can have something later. In the parents know what I'm talking about this morning? You may have to lay down your life so that they can have a life. As a matter of fact, when you have a child, you literally have to give up yourself, amen? You have to lose your life so that they can live and enjoy some things in life. People don't really believe that God would require us to give up of something that we have. They're willing to justify themselves by saying, God don't need all of that. God don't care how much you give. God, it don't take all of that. God knows my heart. Anybody ever heard that before? Well, I do believe that God does know our heart, but I question whether or not we really know our heart. Because the Bible says, out of the heart, come all manner of evil, amen, is displayed. People will tell you this and tell you that it doesn't take all that. But 